What's up guys? So today I want to talk about something that tremendously helped me out when I was on the path of trying to become a software developer. And this one thing is not even anything technical. It actually doesn't even have anything to do with software development. I came from a completely different background than software. I was totally non-technical. I had a degree in international studies. Work experience was as a bank teller. So I knew the transition from going from that to software development wasn't going to be an easy one. And it was probably going to take a really long time years probably. Now, before I talk about what that one thing is, let's talk a little bit about motivation. Motivation is a great thing. You need it to get started. You need it to push you to make whatever change you're trying to make in your life. And for a lot of people, that change isn't easy. You might be working a full-time job. You might have a family and trying to do something like get into software development is hard enough on its own without those other challenges. So motivation is a great thing to get you started. But as humans, motivation tends to come and go. It fades away, it comes back, it has its ups and downs, sometimes just downs. And even if you're super motivated at first, maybe after weeks or months or even years, uh, you might start to feel unmotivated and you know, you might start to feel a little burnt out and that's completely normal. So it's great to have it at first, but you can't rely on motivation forever. And I've even gotten messages from people like, hey, I'm starting to look, get into programming, um, but it wasn't as easy as I thought. I'm having a lot of trouble understanding certain concepts. I'm For a lot of stuff, I have to go to my professors to understand it, which is totally normal. But he was basically saying how he was starting to feel unmotivated. And it's totally normal to feel that way. Trust me, it happened to me a lot in my journey. My journey from writing my first line of code to getting a degree in computer science took over four years. And I even remember the very first class I took was calculus. I got a D on the first midterm and I was just like, wow, uh, you know, maybe this isn't for me. And, and, you know, I just started to feel unmotivated and I started to question my goals. So that brings me to the point of this video. And that is that you need to build habits. That's really all there is to it. And let me give you guys an example. If you've ever been to college or any classroom setting where there's unassigned seating, you know, you go in the first day and, and you sit somewhere. But then what happens on the second day? Everyone comes back and sits in the same seat that they were in on the first day. You can sit anywhere you want the second day, but for some reason, we're just more comfortable sitting somewhere that we've already been. And it even gets to the point where if, if later on in the semester, someone sits in your seat, you're like, what are you doing? Like, get out of my seat, even though technically it's not yours. That's because as humans, we are habitual creatures. We're comfortable with what we know. We're comfortable with routine. So for me, it was it was all about building good habits. And, and mostly it was just as simple as having some kind of structure in my schedule. So my advice is to have some kind of schedule, either you know daily or weekly, set specific times aside for when you're going to study or whatever you need to do. For example, you know, I made sure like when I woke up, I would do some kind of programming for a couple hours. I would make sure I did something like go to the gym like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And that made it so even if, you know, one day I was feeling unmotivated to do something, say it was a Monday, I would still do something like force myself to go to the gym because I had been so used to it because I had built that habit over time. Which, by the way, as developers, we are sitting in the same spot for many hours a day. So I do suggest that you guys get some form of exercise, uh, you know, several times a week. So even though it might feel like, you know, that takes away time from when you could be working or programming, I feel like taking those few hours out of your day to kind of disconnect and, you know, have some sort of schedule outweighs the negatives. Now I'm talking about building good habits, but I think something that's just as important is eliminating the bad habits, you know, eliminating people or at least having less contact with people who like want to just go out and party every night. Right. We all have that one friend who's like, Hey man, we got to go out. It's, it's Tuesday night. We're having $3 margaritas at this bar and then you go out and then the next day it's so-and-so at this different place. And you, it really takes away time that you could be spending doing productive stuff and stuff that you are doing to try and achieve your goals. And I've been guilty of it too, you know, playing video games for way too long or watching sports every night, um, which, you know, it's fine to do, but you should at least, you know, uh, you know, everything in moderation is, is what I, what I think. So it's good to do stuff, but just, you know, limit it and don't have it to take away too much time for what you're actually trying to do. So I hope this video was helpful. I wasn't really planning to make a video like this, but the thought kind of just randomly popped in my head and I felt like 
this was a video that would be really helpful to people because I know a lot of you guys are either new to software development or thinking about getting into it. And a lot of you guys are going to go through the same struggles that I went through several years ago. And trust me, the, the struggle is real. And um, yeah, I just hope this video was helpful. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, keep on coding.